Welcome to my review of the Ortlieb quick release handlebar bag. It's based on the 5000 km bike packing and bike touring trip I did through Europe this year. Starting in Portugal, going through Spain and up through France, then Germany. It's marketed as a bike packing bag and uh, having used other handlebar bags previously, I really like this design which is a top loading bag especially on bikes with drop bars. It makes it a lot easier to access your content. And it's a very simple bag. It just has one big main container where you can put all your equipment in. At the moment, I've got my sleeping kit here and my tent. And most of that fits in here quite easily and is easily accessible when I need it to set up camp at night. The bag closes with a typical Ortlieb roll closure top. You have to turn it three times for it to be 100% waterproof. And then you put a little strap on here, tighten it down and lock the strap. Apart from that, it has some mesh pockets on the sides, which were very handy to have stuff that you needed access to all the time or to put rubbish in. And that worked really, really well. All in all, it's a well-designed, high-quality product that stood up to use really well and there's really no damage at all on it, even after this longer trip. Originally, it has some compression straps that go underneath the bag, but I cut them away because I wasn't using them at all. The big thing with this bag is the mounting system. The bag is fastened with this quick release system that uh, reminds of the old wire system that uh, Ortlieb uses on its handlebar bags. But this is meant to be able to release uh, and put on bikes reasonably quickly. It works the same way as the old wire system. We have one strap that goes above, below, and then hooks in like that. Uh, I adjust that by pulling on this tension here uh, to get the height that I want. A bit of a tip when you first set it up is to probably set it up a little bit higher than you would normally do because it will tension uh, into the weight it's carrying later on and it will move down a little bit. Then you take the other strap which has a, a, a little uh, lever on it it goes underneath, fits into a special little fitting down here. And by tightening that, by pushing this lever, uh, I can get tension on here. But I need to tension that by pulling on the strap under here. And I tension it so that it's quite tight when I push this lever forward. That's it. Sits quite reasonably. Just put these away just as easy to, to take off. I wouldn't say that it's a system that you take on and off often, but it is possible to do. Uh, uh, I've mounted it now on a set of flat bars, uh, but I really prefer it on a set of drop bars because it really fits in the drop bar system quite well and the access to the contents is quite, quite easy. In the beginning of my trip, I had my uh, rain gear and quick access clothes in this front bag and that was really worked really really well but towards the end of the trip i put some more heavy equipment in here i put my camera equipment in here and i actually found that the bag sagged a little bit and i had to readjust the tension on the straps quite often otherwise it moved a little bit so i don't know if i would recommend it for a really heavy load but for a lightweight stuff that you want access to quickly it's really really recommended it fits on most bikes i just mounted on a flat bar bike but i really prefer it on a drop bar bike because it sits quite nicely between the drop bars and the access is really really good compared to the ordinary type rolls closure bag that has access from the sides which tend to become a little bit too long for drop bars and make access a little bit difficult All in all, it's a well-made product that works well. And as long as you don't want to put too much weight in it, I would highly recommend it.